Rudy Giuliani promised reporters that he would clear his name when he testified this week. He said, I'm going to clear my name in the defamation suit filed against me by those two Fulton County, Georgia election workers. But lawyers for Rudy told the judge that the plaintiffs had suffered enough and Rudy's testimony would only cause them more pain. That and Rudy would perjure himself. Shay Moss and her mother, Ruby Freeman, won their defamation suit. They've already won it after Rudy defaulted over the summer by failing to turn over any evidence during the discovery phase of that trial. The judge ruled that Rudy Giuliani did, in fact, owe them damages, that he defamed the mother and daughter when he went on national television, when he went before the Georgia state legislature and repeatedly claimed that Moss and Friedman stole the 2020 election from Donald Trump down in Georgia by stuffing ballots for Joe Biden. On the first day of this week's trial, Rudy showed up 20 minutes late and then later in the day defamed the plaintiffs and their lawyers. Rudy's own attorney had to apologize for his client's conduct, telling the judge he can't control Rudy's behavior. And then Rudy's lawyer said, quote, Your Honor, this has taken a bit of a toll on my client. He's almost 80 years old. There are health concerns for Mr. Giuliani. And as my father would say, F him. During his closing statement, Rudy's attorney, Joseph Sibley, admitted that Rudy Giuliani had defamed the two women and had caused damage. But he asked the jury to keep in mind that Rudy Giuliani once did great things by prosecuting the mob and leading New York City right after the 9-11 attack on the World Trade Center, where Rudy was told not to put the command and control center, but he did it anyway. They said to Rudy, we're going to set up a command and control center for a terrorist attack on uh, Manhattan. And Rudy said, well, let's put it in the World Trade Center. And he was told, no, you don't want to put it in the World Trade Center because that's pretty much the first place they're going to attack. Rudy did it anyway. And that's why there was so much confusion on 9-11. That's why the police and the firefighters and the first responders couldn't talk to one another because Rudy knew better and he put the command and control center uh in the World Trade Center, which had already been attacked by terrorists. <sighs> Please forgive my client. He's done great things. No, he hasn't. No, he hasn't. And he's a racist. He's a racist. Uh, the attorney said, my, my, my client has been very apologetic, but he hasn't been. The lawyer was lying. As recently as Tuesday, Rudy continued to insist that the plaintiffs stuff ballots for Joe Biden, despite already being found guilty, despite the FBI and the Georgia Bureau of Investigation looking into his claims and independently, independently calling them false. While Rudy's lawyer was busy asking the judge and the jury for sympathy and admitting that his client defamed the two women and was remorseful, Rudy went outside the courtroom and accused the plaintiff's attorneys of being tied to the Biden, the Biden crime family. Now, clearly, there is something wrong with Rudy Giuliani. But as my father would say, F him. If he's got health issues, if he's got mental illness, let the warden help him. They have doctors in prison. Rudy's locked up enough people to know that there are doctors in, in prison, F them. And thanks to Rudy's lies, these two women received hundreds of racially tinged death threats. People showed up at their homes threatening to arrest them or worse. They both went into hiding, had to stop working. Lawyers for the two women in their closing argument told the jury that Rudy admitted to the judge over the summer that he told lies about the women. And he told the judge he was guilty. And yet, even after he told the judge he was guilty last summer, 
He continued to repeat the lies about Shea Moss and Ruby Freeman at least 20 times.